It's amazing to be here and it's so amazing to see everyone who came out on a Saturday to spend their day off um, looking at data. AI Kenya is a community for data scientists, machine learning engineers, and anyone who's interested in machine learning and data science. We comprise of learners, practitioners, and people who provide solutions in machine learning and data science. Uber has now been in Nairobi for about three years, and you know, during that time, as you can imagine, we've done a lot of trips. Um, and as we were collecting all of this trip data, we said, hey, why keep all this data for ourselves? Actually, it could be super useful if we put it out in a way that it can be used by data scientists, by urban planners, to really go towards fixing this pain of a problem that we have in Nairobi under tra around traffic, around congestion, and if there's anything that we can do to help uh, to improve that situation, then you know this is this is amazing. So the idea is that we want to change the way organizations and companies even think about their data. We want to create a community and a place where data scientists across Africa can hone their skills on data sets that are relevant to them, um, to connect with others that data scientists in Kenya can connect with data scientists in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Nigeria. Zindi is a competition platform for data scientists across Africa, and our mission is to build the data science ecosystem in, in, across the continent. We are really passionate about supporting startups, developers and SMEs. Um, <clears throat> so we are happy, we are excited to be supporting Zindi. We have a program called the Liquid Go Cloud Program, which is in partnership with um, Microsoft. So we um, are supporting startups. If you have a platform or idea, you can be able to sign up to the program, get Microsoft Azure credits, and then the whole idea is that you can be able to build a platform or an idea that can be able to um, scale up and take advantage of the African continent. We are service providers, actually. We are dealing with PSV sector, and we have tons of data. So we are here. I'm excited to be here to, to get the hacks from you people and leverage the power of data science in our service. Today we had a hackathon. It was just a really exciting day. We had data scientists, programmers um, come out and try to solve the Nairobi traffic um, challenge that we're hosting online. Rarely do people take time to sit back and start understanding the problem from a different uh, perspective. Linear regression is a very, very powerful algorithm for small data sets. Uh, it was a really, really interesting day. Great to get a bit of practice uh, applying data science to real life data sets. Very interesting to, uh, to do it in a short space of time. And I'm really excited to see what the other winners did and to hear a bit more about how they tackled the problem. The competition is quite tight. A lot of people are, are interested in learning machine learning. Uh, but what has motivated me is the fact that I can actually competently compete and be able to work within a very tight schedule to achieve uh, certain goals. So I look forward to the overall competition which ends in January. I hope to, ach to achieve the best position to win the top prize for the Zindi Challenge. From this competition I've actually learned a lot. That is first of all working with a team and incorporating all these um, knowledge and also skills that you've got. Uh, that's what has enabled us to win and I'm really, really happy. I was really impressed with how far the teams got today. I didn't think that we would get such good submissions in just a short amount of time. Hopefully moving forward the, the winners will continue to work on their solutions and continue to refine the models that they've built today um, and go for the grand prize which is $12,000 open to um, anyone across Africa which will close in January.